regrets. I should not have picked the woman. I forgot that she was being pursued, honestly, in my like focus. And no, for me, it was you can't like take it back. Well, I know, I know. What's done is done, unless I reload before. Like I could reload. Oh wait, no, I did it because I overwrote the. Well, shit. Okay, I just have to live with my consequences. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so when I played Shattered Memories, that game gaslit me to no end, and now I'm going to be gaslit by this game. Does this one give you a psych profile at the end, too? Nope. That was just a Shattered Memories I mean, thing? I think a Shattered Memories is the only one that actually gave you one of those. The but psych the, the profile. Original, the original Silent Hill 2 doesn't, doesn't do anything I, like that. Shattered Memories, the, psych, the psychological profile for me was extremely, like, eerily accurate. Like, it was, like, motherly, very sensitive... Um, a little timid. It actually like it said that I was victim, a very timid. Victim blames. Well, no, it didn't say victim blaming. <laughs> I forgot the woman was a victim in that coin puzzle. Now I just feel awful. You know how many comments you're gonna get? Like, oh my god, what's her problem? Uh, maybe I should have just blamed. What? What if you blame like the flower? I have no idea. What if you blame? Maybe the... we should figure out what happens. Okay. Right, I, sh I need to resume. The HDMI cable is sticking up like the snake. Okay, I'm going that? upstairs to room 201. It looks very menacing. Wait. Why is it so loud all of a sudden? I, I... What is all that? I was about to ask you, what's going on? Why that is... I don't know. Oh, okay. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. It maybe it was a construction truck going by in the game. Okay. Cleaning up the streets of Silent Hill. But where the hell am I going? Oh. You need to exit this room and go to the staircase to your right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear you guys. Shut up. How's that for... 203... They sound like they're really enjoying like their grub hub that got delivered that's how i sound when i get like wing stop i just tear right into it oh yeah <laughs> mm. let's see oh well this is a lovely apartment uh, yeah this it's... apartment really stands out because it's like it's all like... the other ones are like demolished or kind of gross this one's like it doesn't look like it's in great shape but it's clean Cleaner. It's, yeah. Oh, there are interesting. Faded out photos. Interesting. It it's it looks almost cozy. It's a little like dusty, but yeah, yeah it is like well maintained. It's not like destroyed. Oh. It looks like um, apartments you get in like they're like almost Upper East Side apartments in New York City. Oh. Almost. <gasps> almost. Gimme. Oh my god. You found some health. Yeah, that's always nice. So I wonder if this easy mode gives me more health. Probably doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I, so far it's looking like it's just related to damage taken slash yeah, given. Yeah, which makes sense because it did say combat. Yeah. Combat level, yeah, not so It's not going to change. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well that honestly is fine with me. It, and it, it's a really easy like coding fix too. So that they don't have to change too much about the actual like mechanics. You blamed the man, didn't you? I'm not telling you what I did on my I mean you can watch my walkthrough to see. But... Is this a cutscene? He's like, oh what now? Oh, boy. It's this. Okay. He's, he's anime flexing for you. Yeah.
Oh, do I really have to fight this thing right now? Well, let's just see what happens. This is starting to feel very anime. Well, he's impervious to bullets. Is this actually using my ammo? No. Okay, I figured not. See, so imagine if you didn't have ammo and he just was firing. It's like, well, you have three bullets. He's ripped. Is that a bicep? Eos has a thing for Pyramid Head. I, I really don't. She's one of those girls. Oh my god, they're really- are there people into this guy? Oh yeah. Wait, really? Interesting. Very interesting. Do you have any observations about uh, Pyramid Head? He's ripped. Okay. <laughs> just just wanted to make sure we, we got that. Yes. Oh. Oh, I bet this belongs to his wife. Well, I don't know. Actually, I can't really make assumptions, but... Is that a note? No, it's just a sideways, like... Oh, okay. Right. Well, I don't... Well, one one thing that I, without like going too deep into things about this game, um, it looks like the enemies that you've been fighting, yeah, also uh, are like subservient or are being like massacred by this thing. Yeah. So if anything, it's like he helped you in that room. He he did, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay. But he was already doing something to them when you walked in. Yes. So, you know, it's kind of hard to say what his role is. Oh, he just... But he didn't attack you. He just left you and took the enemies that you were fighting. He just dragged one out of the room. Jeez. Well, there's a lot to find. Lots to do, lots to find, lots to see. Give me? Dang it. Oh, we're back into the dilapidation. Maybe Pyramid Head. I don't know, this place looks a lot more fucked up than where you just were. Yes, it does. It looks very dirty. Like, the whole complex, like, compared to, like, everything. Oh, it looks like the same, like, unit. Yeah. Check, check that out. I think it is the same unit, and that's where you were hiding. Yeah. In the other unit. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. Maybe Parapet Head has like interior design sense. Yeah, I think I think he's got great interior design. I mean look at the way he dresses. You can just tell. Well he's ripped. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm just messing. Let it be known, everybody. If you're ripped, you got good interior design skills. Oh. You should definitely apply to be on HGTV. Oh, can you imagine a pyramid head show? That'd be really cute. Well, if pyramid head went on HGTV, he would be in charge of making all places look like this. Well, the other it, it would It would be like night. It wouldn't be your dream home. It would be your nightmare home. The other, the other apartment where he was hanging out, but I'm like having a sudden pain in my Where's your back. pain? It's like rib cage on the left side. I think it's just probably a postural thing. Oh. But I don't know. Blue Creek Apartments. Okay, so we're no longer in the Woodside Apartments. Well, no you're not. But these maps are kind of interesting. Yeah. Well. 
that the unit you were in was like pretty much the same as the one you exited from. Yes. Oh boy. All right. No! Shit! Is my light on? Yeah. Okay. Did I pass? Okay, right, so I can't enter 207. There's more, isn't there? More what? He just pulled his club back out. Well, he keeps his club out after combat for just a little bit. Okay. For what it's worth. Utility room. Okay, he does not want to go in there. It's probably just not available. That's okay. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, it's just a... It's white cloth. Oh, boy. White cloth. Yeah. Dang. Wait, is my light off again? It's on. It's just very dark here. Jeez. Okay. So what's going on with this building? It's like way more industrial than the last one. Yeah. Everything's like rusted. There's like melted brown leather. Even the wood is like rusting, which is weird to think about. It's, it's coated. just disgusting. It's coated in something. Yeah. God, they look like they're whizzing. Just like, all whoa, over whoa, the place. Whoa. They're like Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, yeah, I- this is so much more manageable. I don't trust that this one's not dead. It's dead. But, yeah. Well, just gotta be sure. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is a little bit more accessible for me, I will say, the, the difficulty level, because it's giving me a chance, like, I suck at aiming, because I don't play third-person shooters all that much. So You can turn on- there are accessibility settings if you want to turn on some aim assist. That'd be yes. nice. Just do it in settings. Okay. Um, I don't want it to reload, so I'll do it after I save. Okay. But that would actually that would kind of help me. Did yeah, because you're you're playing on my settings, and I have it. I it actually default has like medium assist on already, but you're actually playing on a version where I've completely turned it off. Okay. I, I personally can't stand the. Well, I mean, the thing is, I'm willing to just accept the learning curve, because I know this is my first, you know, first game of this flavor. Okay, I cannot read what's going on on that map. These maps are a little bit harder to use um, when you're, yeah, like, in so these apartments, dark. because, like, it doesn't tell you anything about the interior, like, structure, or, like, the layout of the apartment itself. It just tells you you're in a room. I feel like I'm backtracking, but you, yeah, I just can't tell. Yeah. I also That's where you entered. Okay, this is where I entered. Let's yes. keep going this way then. Alright. Okay, so we know that there's no access here. 
Well, that's not eerie. Oh, they're little moths. They're all trying to get in. Oh. That's not eerie. He marked that on the map with M on door. Yeah, I saw. Or I see, I mean. I saw him take out the map and do a scribble. Yeah, that usually means that whatever oh. you just looked at or touched is really important. What I like is it doesn't shove it in your face. It's like if you want the information, you can go and look at it. Yeah. You have the choice to ignore oh, it. Oh, or... another pristine apartment. Never mind. No, no, this is... This is pretty run down. Oh, God, the music is so beautiful. Yeah. Give me. Yay. Look at me. Look at that health. <gasps> Teacups! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they're so cute. God, it's so, such a beautiful game. I, I love the aesthetic, like, so much, I will yeah. say. I like how eerie it is. I like how dark it is. I'm getting, like, a serious House of Leaves vibe, which is totally a book you need to read. Um, everybody who... Um, it's if pretentious, though, right? Well, it's supposed to be. I see. It's 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 supposed to be like these these findings these collections about a creepy haunted house. It's amazing. Mm. It's a hallmark, not hallmark the company, but it's like oh, I know what you mean. Epitome like good horror experimental fiction. Henry fears Scott. He'll run from and hide. He's fled to the west to the other side. But here comes Mildred with unknown intent. Scott lies face down, blind to her descent. Oh, Scott. Mildred is Pyramid Head confirmed. And Scott are oh. the mannequins. Is that the lore? Yeah, that's the lore. I, I won Silent okay, Hill. Okay, did you hear that Twitter and Reddit? Take note. It's a grandfather clock. Yeah. God, it's beautiful. I'm gonna write my own Silent Hill lore. But... Oh. Make sure to make sure to post it on every social media so okay. people can shit on it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the grandfather's clock. Oh god, that is nice. It's missing something. Yeah. Is it just have its pendulum? Okay, it does. Scott? Oh, there's stuff that's... Okay. Oh my god, the music is so beautiful. Oh, are these white sheets? I don't think that's the white cloth that's designed oh. for your, your, uh, to show you any kind of traversal. Oh jeez, there's so much... Oh, the music's gone. Well, I think it was contained in the save room. That makes sense. Yeah, usually kind of like, uh, it's almost like serene, ambient music. It's usually piano music in survival horror games. Um, Resident Evil, I think, has uh, started the trend where you- Oh. Ooh. The controller's rumbling. Did you hear it? Yeah, the, the knocking. knocking. Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. That's why I hate that woodpecker. Oh! <laughs> An H. Yeah, anyway, for like save rooms, you usually have like the, the music confirms that you're in a safe space by providing a kind of like, I don't know, it, it's almost like a soundscape haven away from the terror par portions of the game. Resident Evil 3 does interesting things with that, but. <laughs> Silent Hill doesn't use the piano music, I notice, in the save rooms. Probably because it would feel a little bit too much like it was taking from Resident Evil in that respect.
Okay, so I think I have to backtrack? No. Um, oh. The If you leave and turn left, the way you were going was... Was correct? Um, yeah, because you, you've seen... There's nothing you can do back the other way. Okay. Just save my little extra ammo. Um... This way? Yeah, and left. To oh. there. Oh, there is a door back there. Okay. Yeah. Well, how about that? And now the soundscape is like a very gentle, like, submarine alarm. Yeah. So what what else do you notice about this place? Oh. Um about like, like this room? Well, compared to where you just were. Yeah, it's like, filthier, when you were, it's darker. Even outside, like it's completely nightfall now. Yeah. Like where you were before, it was like foggy and like maybe yeah, like, like mid Maybe like, yeah, definitely daytime. But as soon as you cross over here, it's like a completely different world. It's pitch black. Everything's rusted over. Oh, more white cloth. Yep. Let me just make sure that there's not anything left for me. There was another one of those guys. I know I don't have to kill it though. I didn't see any. Oh, you know what? No, you're right. You're right. It was just the one. Oh, I'm backtracking. Yeah, I, I, I think this game will help with my sense of direction, but... Wait, I saw a dot. No, no dots. He's he got might, something You might be looking chest. at his flashlight when oh. he turns. Yeah, his little GoPro. To strike. His flashlight quickly pans over the player's camera. Oh boy. It's a cradle. Yeah. Eh. It's a spider on the ground, isn't it? What the hell? What is hitting me? Jesus. Okay. Another control thing. Yes. Uh, if you tap R1, he'll do a 180 turn. R1? Yeah. If you ever need to quickly turn and run from enemies. Oh, this door. Just to help with like, cause he turns a little, I actually, um, I set the camera turning. Um. Why did that thing rupture? Uh, because these enemies are tougher. They actually, they're spewing out toxins right now. And before they die, they like explode. Oh, so geez. you want to back up from them once they're on the ground because they're going to go out with one final attack. Okay. So the enemies here are harder too. And uh, or at least oh, these God. versions. Is he still spewing out toxins? Well, no, he's dead. You, you hear it. You would okay. hear it. Oh boy. There's a door. Am I backtracking? I don't think so. Is that door backtracking? I, I don't know. The thing is, these games, you have to do a lot of backtracking, so I wouldn't worry about that so much. Just follow your map and uh, try, ex like, you know, getting to places that you haven't been yet. Oh. Yeah. You know, I mean, Silent Hill, it, it's fairly linear, but, you know, th there, there's there's no shame in ex exploring is, is totally fine. But this is where you came from. Oh, right, yeah. And your, your map will always tell you. Okay, so I have to go that, this path here. Oh, I haven't explored this. No, I have. Yeah. Have I explored? Oh, there's nothing to explore. Jeez. 
but it's pitch black out here now. Yeah. Yes, it is. Like, it feels otherworldly. <sighs> what? What? What's the issue? <laughs> Oh, I guess I have to climb a ladder? No. That's not a ladder. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. I'm so confused. Do you see any white cloth anywhere? Oh. So I think that, like, number pad thing that shows up number pad thing is an auto save yeah oh yeah yeah that's the auto save thing so if you die you can start over at an automatic checkpoint I like that I have as much health as I have. Yeah. And if you ever start to feel like you're like really getting the hang of it, you can always bump the difficulty back up. Um, we'll see. I'm I just saying, like, you have the option to... Oh, he's already dead? Well, there you just know there are enemies lying on the ground in a pool oh, of blood. Oh, pyramid head must be... Oh. That, that is a thing, like... Oh, okay. Um, just for your, just for conservation. Yes. Um, when they when they are about to explode, you don't need to keep shooting them because they are in the process of dying. Okay. So you don't want to waste your ammo. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like shooting a dead horse. Okay. But I only mentioned that just to help. For, I appreciate. For no, I appreciate later, that because because you you'll want your. I I don't know what this mode is like. You probably don't need as much ammo, but. They're all dead. That's interesting. Because the only other place we've seen them just laying dead was um, with Pyramid Head. And we saw him come this way. Like, yeah. he entered this building. Well, I got five ammo back. I just realized I'm thirsty. Do you have your water? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, dang. Oh, yay. Check out those numbers. <laughs> what? Is that how many you have in your safe? Um... It's just more than I've seen so far for myself. I see. How many do you have in your safe? It's okay. Um, in my walkthrough version, I have, I think, 12 syringes and 27 health drinks. Wow. Wow. But I am a little bit further along, and I've been through this. That, that would, for, for the walkthrough I'm making, it's my second time playing through this game on standard. So I, I've, I've had a, a little bit of practice. God, where am I? But there were definitely some encounters in this game that were like it has its like tricky moments. Look at this. Yeah, this game does a really great job with the like horror element and also the environmental story. Like telling you about your surroundings that something has been through here that's perhaps more powerful than you. Oh. Let's get back. And don't approach it for like a few seconds because there's like a cloud of poison around him right now that you can see. Okay. And that'll damage James. Why is the thing still going off? I don't know. There must be danger around somewhere. But that's what the radio tells you. Like, that's always the answer. So that your radio is going off because there is a threat nearby. 
it's not going to be like something suddenly randomly like new. It always means danger. So you can just assume there's an enemy nearby. Is this white cloth? Mm, what What do you think? No. Is it white? Yeah, I don't. Not really. <laughs> it's not white enough. Like you'll know if it's white cloth. It It'll stand out, like visually. Oh, whatever. It's in here. Well, you came through here already. Okay. Have I been to that door? No. Jeez. Oh. oh, I just realized I'm being like super serious. It's okay. Have I been through here? You broke that open and went through it. Right. I'm just so focused. Hi, everybody. I'm really entertaining. Well, you don't have... It's... We're, we're playing survival horror, you know? Look at me. So entertaining. Our, our show isn't like a... I mean... It's not like a comedy show. Really? Oh, have I been through here? I don't know. Go and see. I don't... Looks like it. Because that's the wall you broke. Yeah, it does. And this is where you collected some ammo and a health drink. Okay. Jeez, I've got to get so easily spun around. And right now, the map, I, I see what it's telling me, but it's not... It's a little harder to read. In the, you even notice the map is, like, worn down, too. The map is almost rusted over, it looks like. It's got, like, stains on it. All right, let's go this it's way. It's dirty. That's white cloth, for what it's worth. <sighs> All these people decorate. Oh, this is backtracking, isn't it? It's not backtracking. You've just been through here already. Okay. Pushing the bookshelf gave you another way to enter this room. Gotcha. Oh, I see. Well, yay. But one one has to wonder why so many options for entering a room and perhaps exiting a room. To get away from Pyramid Head. Oh, the music has started. The piano music. Is this a save point? No. There, there is something interesting in this room, though. God. Oh, it's the music. Oh. It's the same track from the jukebox from Neely's bar. Yes. Chains. Oh, the controller is vibrating. Well, there's something really interesting in that room. This one? No, the one that you were just in. Behind you. Should I go back? You really should, yeah. There's there's something very odd about this room. Oh. There's a radio hanging from the ceiling in a cage. It looks like it's got the clock. Yeah, thing. it's got the hour hand. So I have to find a way to get that down. Yeah, think of this as a saw like thing all of a sudden. A saw trap? Yeah. It, it pretty much looks like a jigsaw built this escape room place, so... It, this whole place looks like Saw 2. I can see that. Yeah, so, you know, you gotta figure out how to get that thing down. It looked like there were a couple of chains coming from it. Yeah, I think I need something 
You gotta follow the chains. Did I miss anything in that in that place? No. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that felt very booby trappy. I'm scared to move forward. Well, <laughs> you gotta do something. Three oh six. It doesn't look like I got hurt. No. <clears throat> it just looked like stuff fired. Well, the window shut behind you. That's all that happened. Oh, jeez. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Dead? You're standing in a cloud of poison, but... Okay. Jesus. Are they both dead now? Um... They're down, yeah. Can never be too sure. Oh, there's another down one. Can't even touch it. I probably can just, uh. So you're back in an area that you have explored. Oh, geez, okay. He's marked the radio, and you just released one of the chains by turning that valve. In so the I other can room. turn back and check, right? There's another chain holding it in place. If, uh, if you remember from the ceiling, there were a few chains. You gotta follow them to figure out where they are. They okay. won't appear on the map. You gotta follow them visually. Okay. So you gotta go back to the room and see where the next chain goes. But you got a key, right? Yeah. Um, it was for 306. Okay, I'll go explore 306. Um. All the enemies on the ground are slowly going to start getting up as you come through this area. Okay. Just because that was one of the ones that's lying on the ground. But you can see just how many there are. I see what you're saying. Oh, dear God. Yeah. So just keep moving. Well, I'm glad I've got the health drinks that I have. 306 will be behind you and on your uh, left. Oh, God. Okay. Here? Come on. Is it behind me? Yeah, they can come through doors. Jeez, okay, I can't see. Yeah. Oh, there's like multiple of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is very disorienting. Yeah. I couldn't even see. Like, mm -hmm. that that's, that's a little annoying. Oh, jeez. How far is it going to backtrack me? You mean... I don't think it's really backtracking. It's just going to... Just, just, let's see. You don't really have a... Where am I? Ah, uh, all the way to the start of this floor. Oh, God. Oh, it could be much worse. In the originals, it was the save points. If you want me to get you back, yeah, like with all those enemies, okay, you want me to? Yes, that would be great. 
And if you can get me all the like health stuff that I got right. too. Solid Sun is Silent Hilling. Yeah. I Crystal Eos's glasses are. Oh, it's my. It's like they're squeezing my brain a bit. <laughs> I'll have to switch to my other pair. I I forget. I like these earphones a lot, but they give me like headaches, the pressure headaches. Really? Oh Already? yeah. Already? Well, yeah. I I don't like wearing headsets. That's why I never do when I stream and stuff. Oh. But I loosen. I'm just gonna loosen them. Let's see if that does the trick. <sighs> Solid sounds so much faster than I am. Oh, nice. This probably feels so much easier given my um level. Changing what do you it mean, to combat. What but, do you mean feels? Uh I guess you haven't seen a whole lot of combat because I I'm in like the easy mode. Okay, so if you look at the TV, it's got like chains coming through it that lead to different parts of this floor. I see yeah. You see how you can follow them as you go along. Like that chain goes like way beyond like to a different room yeah but then this chain like leads here you can like see them like coming through holes in the walls so you want to try to like so you eventually need to bring what looks like a valve back here yeah so that thing it's just the window closing it's not something that's gonna like hurt you there's something on there yeah it's the key to 306 You want to back up before he explodes. Oh, this is where I died. Other... No, you died in a different room. Okay, right. I, I still have to get you back to where you were. Oh no, you're right. Cause yeah, you see I how they have smoke around six. them. Yeah. You don't want to fight in the smoke when you're attacking other ones. You want to move to a safer part of the room, like another corner. And when you are moving around, tapping R1 quickly, 180s him. Okay. So you can quickly run away from enemies instead of doing this move to run away. Okay. It saves you like almost a whole second of an enemy like grabbing you. Okay. Is there anything in that room? Um, the key to 306 and a valve that I got. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so as you keep coming back through this area, when you collect stuff and do things, more and more of the enemies that are on the ground will be up. So she's up. And I like to shoot them and lure them over to where the other enemies aren't, to take them on one by one, yeah. instead of dealing with them in hordes. So now she's down, now I can come out here and see who else is awake. So you shoot them once from a distance and they'll come to you, versus you going where the game wants to torture you. So another thing to do, um, when, when you're, so when I come up here to like this door, you're gonna hear something awaken. If you notice it's not this guy, you can quick turn and come and shoot this guy. So it wants you to think, oh, is it this guy? Oh, no, it's not him, I'll quick turn, it's him. Is that it, it's dead? Yeah, well, it's down. I don't want to say too much about these enemies, but there you go. Crystal right. is back at the helm. Next time? Oh, <laughs> okay. Next time on Silent Hill Gaming. I'll be back. Uh, at we'll the be helm. back with Silent Hill too. Lots I think, of lots yeah. of fun, lots of fun things to come. Oh my god, yeah.